Hello everybody, this is Lucas. So today I'll be demonstrating to you guys how to download Typora. So well I have Typora over here on my PC already. So first thing we have to do is to delete Typora. Alright, um so delete Typora. I'll be deleting all my other all my other computer. So first we have to go to programs and features and uh, let me just show you guys how to get to it. You have to go control, control panel, yep. You go control panel and then you press on this one. I'm gonna start program. Then, right, I'm gonna screenshot this. Control. I want this. Right, and then control pass save I'm gonna make this uh, for a one All right. and then exit then we look for type horror and then I found type horror over here so I put I left I left click it and right click it and we have this uninstall button so we want to get that Actually, and we want okay, control save Tapora two. All right, and then uninstall. Press yes. Do you want? Do you want to delete it? Yes. Okay. And then type or it's gone. All right. How do I see it? I uh, look at my environment file. This is all I'm left with. So it's supposed to. Let's exit this website. This is how you get to that website. You go. You just search type or. All right. And then you get to its home page. And then you can either scroll down or you can just press on download. It doesn't matter. And because my computer is on Windows, so I press on Windows. And we're supposed. To, and there's two options: x64 or 32 bits or x32. So how do you get to it? You would have to go to settings, system, and about. So you look for things over here. We look for system type, and this is 64. So I am downloading 64 version. And since my like the download on my computer is really slow, I already had it download over here. So it, it is the setup application or execution file. So we, we double click on that, and then this should pop. And then I'm a screen. I'm gonna screenshot this. We'll screenshot this and then you want to go for this one I am really new with snipping tool so I have to learn more but um, I'll still uh, use my newbie newbie skills uh, for a uh, three right. Right. so exit stall yes and then you're supposed to you're supposed to assign where you want to download it to. So I want to download it to get this. So you browse where you want to download it. Uh, control S. For, uh, for, uh, for. All right. and then for me I want to download it in this file so I always like to organize my environment to one file so I press on this one for, uh, and I also want a shortcut right. I want a shortcut
Probably a red pen is better. Yeah. So it stands out more. Right. And then you have Typhora. Right. And then we press on next. Install. And we just wait. Alright, we're done. And <laughs> of course, we're gonna press the finish button. So, I'm gonna take a screenshot so you guys know which interface to hit when you guys are done. So, let's finish. Control S. Uh, Tempora 6. Alright, 1. Okay. And you press finish. And yeah. You, you get something like this and how do you use it you you can do something like this so let's say I want to make a notes for this class so I will be press right clicking the right clicking the desktop and then you can trace to text document and you want to name it some like let's say new notes so change the attached uh, extended name to the like the file file name. No, like the whatever this is. Make it into and change txt to md. So the file type, yeah, the file type change from text file to md, and then you cannot open md with like the normal text editors like edit spots. So you use typora. Mark down the file, and indeed, it automatically opens with uh, Typeport. All right, this is how you download Typeport.